This is what you'll see upon first walking into the National Farm Toy Museum. This is one of the molds they use to cast the tractors with. And this here is a little mock-up of the old factory. This would be the piece of equipment they would have put the mold in when they were casting the different toys they made. And here's all the little bits that go together to make one toy. This section's all going to be a bunch of little dioramas they have built, which I thought were pretty interesting, just the detail in them. If you want to skip ahead to the tractors, I'll put little chapters down below that you can do that with. I know not everybody's going to be interested in this stuff, but I just thought it was super cool. This one was an entry in a farm toy show, and actually all of these have little hide and seek things for the kids to do, such as find the five red pails, find the calf milk bottle, you know, all these little things, little tiny details for the kids to try and find. It was interesting, I thought. This one here is a cattle finishing lot. This man here is Bernie, and he handcrafted all of these little toys out of wood. It's amazing the detail if you actually go through and look at all of them. There's a little bit of metal, some other components here and there, but the vast majority is wood. Uh, this is right after you enter the museum. He just got a little exhibit in the middle. Now we're ready to enter Ertl Land. Here's just a walk through the decades of what they were producing at the time. Then we've got the golden models, which I've always thought were odd. I never liked those. Every kid's favorite, the pedal tractors. Big Kinsey grain cart. Gotta support Kinsey. And this was a display on they're torture testing the toys. They actually designed them to break safely, I believe is how they worded it, because they know they were going to break. So the intent was when they do, there couldn't be any sharp corners or anything that would be dangerous to a child. Now we've just entered the second floor, and I know this right here is probably what most of you were expecting to see. This is what I was expecting to see at least. Just row after row of model tractors and implements and it's pretty intense. I'm going to try and go through each section quickly here, just give me an overview of what they have, starting with International. 
And I think AC is next. Yep, here it is. Alice Chalmers. Followed by, I believe, Massey Ferguson. Oh no, Big Bud. Everybody loves Big Bud. They've got the 747 down here in the right corner. As a kid, I always liked Ford tractors. I think because they were blue. I really don't know why else. I just like the paint colors. Some more Kinsey. I'm a big Kinsey fan. They're a local company to me. Here's Massey. Now John Deere, I cheated, guys. I'm just going to pan down because John Deere has an entire aisle. Got the old Olivers. Personally, liked it more when they were white. And green, I wasn't a huge fan of the red. These here are white tractors. This was my first experience with tractors. My grandpa and uncles always had white tractors when I was a kid. Some more international, looks like. I think I started that there too. Got a little corner of construction equipment over here. Now this is its own room just for John Deere. John Deere throughout the decades is what I call it. And here's Mr. Fred Erdl and his wife Gertrude. So much more than I could even begin to show you guys. Definitely worth the price of admission. I think it was $7 a ticket. Kids 5 and under free. I would highly recommend going and checking it out for yourself.